Are we live? We're live. I should have gone to the bathroom before I went live because I kind of got to go to the bathroom. But that's okay. That's okay. I just got done watching Kyle's Mr. Slapshot Toys. I just got done watching his live stream where he unboxed Batman Beyond Hot Toys figure. So go check that out later on because it was a pretty fun watch. Kyle has managed to buy all, all, I think with the exception of one, of the Hot Toys Arkham video game Batman figures. And I'm kind of, kind of starting to want to do the same thing with the Spider-Man Hot Toys video game figures. I'm, I'm starting to do the same thing. I only have four currently. Uh, there's a few that have been released that I don't have. Specifically, I kind of want that negative suit Spider-Man. That is out. And I do have a $25 off coupon with good old Sideshow. So you never know what might happen. You never know. Also, you never know what might happen with this damn stream because... We've uh, had some outages with Spectrum today. So hopefully, A, my audio sounds good. The experiment where I had the mic down here is Dunsky. I have moved the mic right here because that damn mic was picking up so much of my freaking fan on my laptop. I decided, you know what? F that S. F that S in the A. We're going to move it back right here. Right there. So let me know how the audio is. Let me know how the video is. Hopefully it's coming through nice and nice and uh, nice and good. Good ski. Uh, but let me do one thing right quick. Hope everyone had a wonderful Wednesday. I wanted to go to the damn comic book store. No, Narek, I did not. Hold on. Let me do two things. I'm going to switch this to live chat so I don't start seeing the same messages like in different order. I'm gonna do three things. That was the first thing, live chat. Number two, Lord Luigi 23. Massive shout out to you, my friend, for having notifications on because you were the first person to say something in the chat ski. I always shout out the first person to say something in the chat ski. Today was Lord Luigi. Luigi, it's a Mario. All right, let me do the third thing now. Uh, fourth thing. Narc, no, I did not. No, I did not. Did you find the Target Black Series figures? No, I did not, unfortunately. Uh, I got a little bit of info, perhaps. Hopefully, I can score them on Friday. Um, but uh, that's about it. I did find something there, though. I did find something there, and I will show you what I got. As soon as I do my thing ski here, as soon as I do my thing, hopefully I start... I don't start doing the damn pee pee dance, the little, because I got to go to the bathroom really bad. I really should have gone before this started. I'm only going to be on here for about an hour because I don't want to F the voice. I don't want to F the voice up because tonight, as long as Spectrum is cooperating, as long as I'm able to have a solid internet connection, I will be live again. Uh, I think on Dave's channel, Dave Wheeler's channel, his Twitch channel, uh, myself, Mr. Robo from the Foosh. And Mr. Wheeler will be unboxing some stuff and perhaps watching some AE dub. AE dub. All right, now let me do what I was going to freaking do before I started thinking about having to go to the bathroom. I have found that if, if I have to go to the bathroom and I don't think about it, then I don't have to go to the bathroom as much. All right, did that. Let's get back to the damn Chatsky. It's Wednesday, hump day. I was going to go to the damn comic book store. I didn't get a chance to go to the comic book store, so I called the comic book store. I added three titles to my pull list this week. The titles that I added this week were Radiant... Is it called Radiant Black? I think it's called Radiant Black. Uh, I got Nightwing. And then I got... What was the damn third title? Radiant Black, Nightwing... <sighs> I can't remember. I can't remember. Anyway... Three titles added this week to my poll, so I think I have like five comics. Anyway, Spectrum just raised their rates again. They raised their rates, and they're having outages. 
Kim Mueller. Uh, JLY9, how's it going? Retro Bricks, no freaking way. Yes, live after a live. Live right after Kyle. Um, yes, two lives on a Wednesday, on a Wednesday. Francisco Marquez, Darth Primus, King ding -a Where is everyone? I don't know. Where the frick is everyone? It's Wednesday. Maybe they're at the comic book shop. Maybe they didn't get their notification. I have noticed that some notifications have not gone out. I'm going to kind of wait, see who shows up, see who gets here. And then I'm going to start showing you the stuff, the goods. I, uh, I did find something at Target. I did find something. It's something that other people have already found, so it's not like groundbreaking or anything, but it is something very, very freaking cool, and it is something that when I saw it, I'm like, all right, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Trying to cut back on these, hint, hint. Trying to cut back on these guys, but damn it, this thing looks so freaking cool. And it's not Thanos. I just wanted to show him off because he's here on the desk. Look at him. Arr. What is he saying? There's too many people in the universe. That's like me sometimes when there's a lot of people on the road. There's too many people in this city. Too many drivers on the road. I would never do that. Come on. I would never snap people out of existence. Maybe some people. Maybe some people. But not everyone. Not randos, not innocents. Maybe some people I'd do that. Anyway, guys, it's getting dark in here. <laughs> it's getting dark. What do we got going on? I hope everyone had a wonderful half of the week so far. Uh, but we have Mr. Jedi Howard 22, Malika Mabane, peace to you, my friend. Die Hunts, Marvel Action. Again, I'm not going to be on here live very long. <clears throat> Mrs. Since you went to go to her uh, massage. So we got some time ski before I get my din din. We're having some uh, burgers, no buns. Burgers, no buns and some salad. Yes, exciting stuff, guys. It's so exciting when you're on a diet and you're trying to lose weight for the damn beach. And you're eating burgers with no buns and friggin' salad. <clears throat> and eating a banana for lunch. And eating a friggin' rice cake for breakfast. Actually, I had some Crispix for breakfast. I kind of cheated. Had a little milk. It was damn good. It was damn good. I can't wait for another cheat day, honestly. Can't wait. I bought uh, Tay Tay. She had to go to the orthodontist on the way back home. I always like to treat her a little bit when she has to do stuff like that. Because I know that kids don't like doing that stuff. I didn't like doing that stuff when I was a kid. So I like to get them a little bit of a treat. I took her to Jack in the Box, if you consider that a treat. <laughs> uh, I was going to take her to McDonald's, but there was like a line out the A out the absolute a everyone wanted mcdonald's today apparently so i took it to a couple couple stores down a little jack in the crack as mrs cincy calls it i got uh tete a little oreo milkshake some french fries i got myself this guy right here not a buttery jack but a large ass diet coke that's why i'm a little bit hyper right now because a lot of caffeine consumed in a very short period of time uh, but we got those fries and they smelled so good. They smelled so good. I didn't eat any. I'm very proud of myself. Didn't eat any. Didn't drink any of her Oreo milkshake. That smelled good too. I just, all, this is all I had. Buttery Jack. That doesn't sound good at all. You know what I do like from Jack in the Box? The mini tacos. You get like a little pack of mini tacos. They're freaking delicious. Awesome, awesome little snack. And I think they're like kind of low-ish on the caloric uh, number. They don't have that many cows. So it's not like it's a healthy snack, but it's uh, compared to like the alternative of what you can get there, like a buttery jack. It's, it's kind of a safe bet, safe-ish bet. Anyway, multiple tangents I've gone off on right now. I don't even know how this all came up, but Marvel Action is here. From Vegas, baby. Stream sounds good. Awesome. Vegas. Baby, Vegas Golden Knights. I kind of want to buy. Now, I did buy another jersey yesterday. I got to stop. I got to cut it out. But when freaking cool hockey's like, hey, here's a 30% off coupon. And I'm like, oh, man, what the frick? Then I buy a damn jersey for 30% off. I do want the gold Golden Knights jersey, though. 
as gaudy as hell as it looks, I do want that jersey. Um, okay. So, Ionicus is here. Die Hunt said, I just found Modoc at Target. Haha, <laughs> no Clone Wars figures, sadly. Mr. Die Hunts, guess what? We're in the same damn boat because here's what I found at Target. Bam! That was the perfect segue. I was going to hold it for a little bit. I was not going to reveal what I got. But I went to Target. I put in the little, I went to the little scanner thing. I put in the DPCI for Hawk. I put in the DPCI for uh, Echo. Because those are the two that I still need. Um, because my buddy Rashad found the Anakin and Obi-Wan for me. I need to meet up with him and get those. But I need a Hawk and an Echo. Put in the DPCIs. It didn't really say if they were available or not. It just said aisle not a not applicable or not available, whatever. Went to the electronics counter. I was like, dude, I didn't say dude. Sir, do you have, what the frick was that? It sounded like a smoke alarm going off. Weird ass sounds in my house right now. Anyway, I was like, Mr. Electronics guy, can you look up these DPCIs? And he goes, is it for a major blood? I'm like, no. He goes, okay, good. Because I've had literally like 20 calls for major blood G.I. Joe figure today. I'm like, it's not for a G.I. Joe figure. And he goes, okay, well, what is it? And I go, it's for a Star Wars figure. And he goes, oh, okay. <laughs> so apparently he's had multiple calls today regarding major blood and for the Star Wars figure. So I gave him the uh, DPCI for, I think he had it in his system is wind. That's like what it's in, in his wind. And that's echo. They have like little code names. I'm not, I'm still not sure what the code name for Hawk is, but I gave him that DPCI as well. And he goes, well, it doesn't look like we have any in stock right now, but it looks like, according to my thing, we're going to get 12, 12 on this date. I'm not going to say what date that is, because if there's some scalpers that are watching this right now, I want to get one before you clean them the frick out. So... I'm not going to share what date, because a lot of you know where I live, so you probably know what Target I shop at. But I'm not going to give you the date, because I want one before you clean them the frick out. Because I know you're going to do that. But anyway, yes, I'm going to try and go there on that date that the gentleman, the very nice gentleman, told me to show up at, at 8 in the friggin' morning, to get a damn Star Wars figure. I'm going to show up. I'm going to try and get them. If I get them, I get them. If I don't, I don't. That's the way I look at it. If I get them, I get them. That's great. I add them to my collection. If I don't, I don't. That's great too because there's other stuff that I'm into. Like this mother effer right here. This beautiful bowl cut mother effer right here. Look at those straight ass teeth. First of all, MODOK. Uh, what does it stand for? Uh, something death or killing? I don't know. Mechanical organism designed for death or killing. I don't Whatever the frick it is. Someone posted in the chat. What does MODOK stand for? Anyway, he has very straight teeth. That's what I was getting at. It looks like his mom or dad, mom or dad MODOK, invested in braces when he was a child. Because look at those beautifully straight teeth. Good job, mom and dad MODOK. Here he is. Uh, I showed Tay Tay this one and she started laughing and she said, it looks like he's farting fire. <laughs> uh, and then I looked at it and I started laughing just like I just did. And I go, it does look like he is farting fire. <laughs> it looks like, it looks like he is literally sitting on a toilet farting fire. That's amazing. My kids with their amazing observations. <laughs> but I got MODOK, so that was the big pickup. That was what I found. I did not find the Star Wars damn friggin' Black Series Clone Wars figures. I didn't find them. I have a lead. Hopefully the lead pans again. If I don't get them, I don't get them. It's fine, it's fine if I don't get them. Um, <clears throat> but I will show you some other stuff that I picked up here after I look at the chat ski. And we have our first visitor. Don't let him out. I know. Yes, Will is still in here. I got to make sure he heals. He's all. He's like ninety-five percent healed. There's P Dog. Hi. Hi. Ooh, that was loud. What? 
Oh, I just like yelled very high pitched right into the mic. <laughs> um, how you doing? Good. What are you doing? Watching TikToks? I'm watching YouTube. Watching YouTube. Which videos were you watching? Who's your favorite YouTuber right now, anyway? Uh, well. Besides me. Oh, I love you too, sweetie pie. Okay, um, Who's your favorite YouTuber, though? Probably I'm Santa. I am Santa? Yeah. And she does... What game does she play? Roblox? Yeah. Yeah. And then who's the other YouTuber that you like? Um, Come play with me. Come play with me. Yeah. There's another one, though. Ma, it starts... Ma, is it Melissa? Marissa? Uh, wait. <laughs> it's, um, I can't remember. Anyway. Oh, it's Megan. Megan plays. Yeah. Yes. Right? Is she the one that says the sus sus song? Uh, something in real life, sus sus. No. What? Who? Who does that one then? What's her name? I don't know. Yeah, it's uh, among us in real life, sus. I don't sus. know. That's Megan plays, right? No. I don't know. I can't keep track. Anyway, thanks for stopping by, sweetie pie. I love you. I love you too. Uh, where was I? Okay. I am way behind on comments. I gotta go to the bathroom really, really bad. So I'm just gonna... I'm gonna wiggle back and forth my chair. Hopefully not pee my pants. Uh, but I'm gonna... I'm here for a solid hour. So hopefully I can hold my bladder for another 44 minutes. But we're gonna check out what's going on here. I'm gonna show you more uh, of what is in this very, very small hall. I have a very odd item in this hall. Very odd item. But I'll explain something. And I'll explain a very, very nice gesture of customer service. But let's see who else is here. Anyway, Andre Black. Loving all the live streams. Thank you very much, Andre. Will, how you doing, dude? Um, but yeah, Die Hunts. That was why I showed off this guy. We both went looking for Star Wars Black Series Clone Wars figures, Target exclusives. We, we both did not find him, them. But we both saw this guy, and I... Die Hunts, I'm not sure if you picked him up, but I picked him up. I think he looks amazing, even though it looks like he is farting fire. Uh, let's see. Narc is here once again. Knight of Ren is here. Dank Chez, my target, should have the Star Wars figures tomorrow, so I'm trying my luck to hopefully secure me a full set Dank Chez. Good luck, my friend. I hope you find them. I hope you get a full set. That would be amazing. I originally said that I wanted a full set to have on card just because I really love the packaging and then a full set to open. At this point, I just want a set to open. I don't necessarily need them on card. I don't really ha even have room to display stuff on card, so I just want a set to open. <clears throat> um, Ionica says, yo, Narc. How's it going, Michael Thomas? Kim, once again, Kim Mueller said, uh, Spectrum just raised their rates again. Audio is clean. What up, Cincy? Retrobricks is here. Oh, comments just jumped. Thomas jumped. Mental mob mobile me mechanized organism designed only for kill. So I was kind of close. I got the designed only for killing, right? Rob Choi said that. Thank you, Rob Choi, for uh, either knowing that or uh, looking that up. Man, I really have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I really should have gone. I literally chugged this. I chugged it. I might have uh, to ask you guys to talk amongst yourselves while I take like a little potty break but anyway let me doesn't his show come out next week potentially narc i'm not sure i don't really know much about the modok show someone had brought it up in the chat that modok is getting his own show i'm like that's interesting and from what i know it's like a comedic kind of like comedy animation type show right um but uh we'll see we'll see what it's all about hopefully it's good i'm down to watch it all right, let me scroll the frick up because there is a lot of comments. Okay. Okay. Still scrolling. All right. Justin Garcia, how's it going? Um, Malika says audio and video is good. Excellent. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Lord Luigi said found Obi on Monday, but the rest of the wave is hitting tomorrow near me. Lord Luigi, good luck. Lord Luigi, very, very good luck. Hopefully you guys find them. I want you guys to find them. I want our collecting community to prosper and find these things. The scalpers, I hope you guys don't find them. 
But the collectors, the ones that actually want them in their collections, that aren't just trying to profit off these things, that want to collect them because they mean something to you, because they spark nostalgia, or because you're just a hardcore Star Wars fan or Clone Wars fan, whatever it is, the collectors don't want you guys to find them. Scalpers, you could suck an egg, mother effers. And thanks for the thumbs down because it still helps boost the algo. You dummies? <laughs> anyway, guys. Um, so Knight of Ren says, I'm going to look tomorrow after work. Stink Fist says, what are your thoughts on the Ninja Batman line? I have not even seen that. Unless you're talking about the SH Figure Arts Stink Fist. I've seen those. They look pretty good. I never got into those. I never actually saw the movie. But um, I saw... The SH figure arts at a GameStop at one point, and they looked really cool, really detailed. Jay Zeus, how's it going? Israel Salinas, how's it going? Uh, Alistair McRae, since I'm watching at work. Alistair, hope you're having a wonderful day at work. A wonderful, productive day at work. Andy Davis, the real ones are here. Knight of Ren, Marvel Legends. So you guessed successfully. I'm so far behind in the comments that uh, a lot of you guys were guessing what I found and you guessed successfully. I think I will probably be opening this tonight on the stream with Robo and Dave. So if you want to see this thing out of box, I'm assuming he's like in several pieces because that's a thin box and he is a big thick boy. Freaking futuristic Humpty Dumpty right there. So I'm assuming he's like split in half. I'm going to have to build him. But I'm going to open that. I have some AE Dub figures. I got some other stuff. We'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, check out that stream. I think it's on Dave's Twitch. Dave Wheeler's Twitch. But I'll post like a link for it. I'll share a link for it later on if you guys want to join. And again, Robo's going to be there. So you can have ask us any questions you want. Uh, we'll be... Uh, Talking in the chat, all that stuff. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Alice McRae once again said Legends. Bear Clemens, how's it going? Jason Cook went to three targets and no luck with the Black Series. I'm sorry to hear that, Jason. Keep trying. Again, I tried my target. They didn't have anything, but they said that they're going to get them. So hopefully, hopefully uh, we can all find them. Liquid Mo Momentum said that Thanos sucks. I respectfully disagree with you. I think this is a great Thanos. I think he is awesome, but uh, we're all entitled to our own opinions. That's okay. Gustavo says, what up, Cincy? Greetings from Panama. Greetings, my friend. Cincy the Mad Titan. Snap bye-bye scalpers. I wouldn't snap away scalpers. There's some, there's some people in this world that, that maybe should be snapped away. I'm not going to get into, you know, who should be snapped away and who shouldn't be snapped away. But uh, who am I to judge? I'm only wearing a Punisher shirt, after all. Marvel Select has the best Carnage. What do you think? The best Carnage. I gotta say, it's Marvel Legends. It's the newer Marvel Legends where the tendrils are actually sculpted onto the figure. I think that's the best Carnage, in my personal opinion. But that's just that's just what I think. I think that that is the best Carnage so far. Benny Hawkins, how's it going? Joe Rizzo, what's up? Willie Woodson is late. What's up? Uh, the only thing you missed, Willie, is me talking about how I should have gone to the bathroom before this started. And then also the fact that I went looking for Star Wars, Clone Wars, Black Series figures, and I came home with this. And all I got was this lousy shirt. Actually, this is an awesome looking figure. I'm really, really happy to find this. Again, this was one of the ones that I did want to purchase. I did want to pick up eventually. Why am I drinking more when I have to go to the bathroom? But, um... I'm glad that I did find it. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna use the scroll bar because I'm that far behind. Come on, scroll bar, what the frick? All right, it's not working, that's okay. I'll just use my, my little uh, wheel thing. Uh, Knight of Ren says, I got my Legends Disney Plus wave, Scarlet Witch. Hey, you know what? I actually found remnants of that wave at my target. I found the US agent and I found the Loki. I didn't buy either one of them, though, because I pre-ordered the whole wave from Dorkside. So hopefully they get them soon, and uh, I can get that entire wave. I'm really looking forward to that wave. Luigi says, uh, nice. Hey, do you have issues standing your Zemo? Because I do. Zemo. 
oh, you're talking about the new Disney Plus wave. I don't have the Zemo yet. But I'm looking forward to it. Did you guys literally hear my neck crack? That was like a double freaking crack. That was uh, that was pretty impressive. I would have said go to White Castle, but you don't have them in Texas. No, we don't have White Castles here. Those were in Ohio. We had uh, anyone in Florida, you're familiar with Crystal. I used to get Crystals after a night of uh, uh, carousing in my single days. We would go to Crystals or we would go to Miami Subs. That was a, a fun place to go to. Miami Subs. Missed that place. Jacksonville Beach, Miami Subs is where I used to go. Crystals also used to hit, hit and Taco Bell, obviously. But um, we don't have any, either of those here in Texas. What the frick? Did you get Flock Panther yet? Benny, no, I have not. But I believe there's a local store, which I'm dying to go to, uh, called Back Alley Toys, which I think he has one for me. So hopefully this weekend, just checking on Will, hopefully this weekend I can go there this Sunday Hopefully he still has it, and I'll pick up that awesome-looking flocked panthor. Leafs are coming for you, Stanley. Dante Inferno says. They got a good shot. Leafs have a solid team. Solid, solid team. Philly, Montre Philly MTL. Is that Philly Montreal? Is that what it stands for? It says, hey, Cincy. Uh, Noah Johnson, any AE Dub Series 4 hit in your area yet? Is Series 4 the Sammy Guevara wave? Sammy, Santana, Ortiz, Hardy, Kenny, Cody? I have not seen any of those in store, but I got them all from ringside. So, um, no, I have not seen them in stores. Wingnut, how's it going? Grant Rollinson, how's it going? Bear Clemens, I don't think Jack uses actual meat in their tacos. <laughs> hey, it still tastes good, though. I know none of that stuff. It's all processed. It's all loaded with fillers. And preservatives it's terrible for you but i think it tastes good those little tacos they're to die for i just love them talking about jack in the box by the way jeremy how's it going my friend jeremy who i got the predator the uh what is it neca exclusive predator 2 predator with the one that's translucent if you watched my neca collection tour which the video is available on my channel I got that from Jeremy. So shout out to Air Extreme 21. Thank you again, my friend, for securing that one and selling that one to me. I appreciate it. Steven Ice Perro. What up since he just received the NECA TMNT cartoon diorama? That is amazing. That is another one that I didn't even know was solicited. Apparently, I missed out on the damn accessory pack for the 90s movie, and I missed out on the cartoon diorama. Like, when, when the heck were those offered where I was just in this, like, freaking collecting limbo that I didn't even hear about it, see it, order it, nothing. And all, everyone's getting these things. I'm like, what? When? Where? Who? How? Steven said that. And Narc says NBA jerseys are having crazy sales as well. Very interesting. Um, yeah, the NHL, Cool Hockey at least, coolhockey.com, is offering 30% off of all teams that did not make the playoffs. Or were eliminated. So I don't know if NBA is doing the same thing with their jerseys. But um, yeah, it's been hard to not buy jerseys left and right. And those things are freaking so expensive. They're so expensive. It hurts my soul every time I buy one. But they just make me so happy. They make me so happy. I love wearing them. I should have a jersey on right now. Um, I don't know why I'm not wearing one, but I'm just not. Anyway, Sportimus says, I hope to get Echo and Hawk. Me too, Sportimus. Those are the two that I need. Richard says, can't deny yourself a treat. The more you deny something, the more you want. And before you know it, you're sitting with an empty bucket of KFC wondering what happened. <laughs> exactly, Richard. Uh, hello, Ben Jan. Uh, all right, now I've caught up to the, the comment where Narc said, doesn't his show come out next week? I'm still very far behind in the chat, but I'm catching up, guys. I do want to show you one more item here. I had mentioned that uh, my buddy Rashad, who's a local collector, was able to get his hands on an Obi-Wan and an Anakin. Um, and I'm going to be picking those up. Very, 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 very excited for those. But I also have to give a gigantic, massive shout out to Rashad for this one right here. He kept an eye out for me. Um, and he was able to secure one of these for me. And I just really, 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 really appreciate it. Um, I know people out there just 
hate it when you get something and you don't actually find it in the wild. But I just really, I'm very thankful for this. So uh, I was able to buy this from Rashad and it is a major blood. So I'm not like bragging, gloating, none of that. I'm just very, very thankful. If anything, I'm very, very thankful uh, that I was able to get my hands on this figure. Because again, I had pretty much just written it off, honestly. I know how hard it is to find these damn things. Um, I, I know how hard it is to find all of the damn Target exclusives. And honestly, I was just like, if I don't get one, that's fine. I don't get one. So, um, the fact that he was able to, he messaged me and was like, Hey, I got it. I got one for you. I'm like, are you freaking serious, dude? Thank you so, so much. Um, I mean, it looks amazing. It looks awesome. Uh, that's all I'm going to say about it. I don't want to like rub it in or anything that I got one. Cause I know a lot of people are like kind of pissed off at the whole target thing, the whole classify thing. People have stopped collecting classifieds because they can't get these things. And I know everyone goes back to, well, the store didn't order enough. Okay, that's fine. But how do you explain? And I'm not going to like be negative and I'm not going to rant too much. But how do you explain Hasbro Pulse saying, hey, we heard you guys. We know that you've had difficulty finding these things. So we're going to offer Firefly and the Cobra Viper on Hasbro Pulse for you guys. We're going to do that. Okay, that's great. And they made it available first to Hasbro Premium Pulse members and not everyone was able to get them there. So people that are not Premium members had no shot at all to get them. So yesterday on Facebook, I'm just like, Dear Hasbro, make more. Make more. Am I missing something here? If they were able to sell them, that they were target exclusives, Attack of Cobra Island, Cobra Viper, Firefly, they're target exclusives, but they're able to sell them on Hasbro Pulse. If they're able to do that, and no contract is being voided or anything like that, make more so that people can get them, so that, so that all of the Hasbro Premium Pulse members that pay $50 for their membership all of them can get one, and everyone else that is not a Premium Pulse member can get one. Make more. It's not difficult. It's an easy solution to a problem. Am I missing something here, guys? A rant ended. Sorry about that. Sorry if I got a little heated there. But it's just very frustrating, guys. Where was I? How could you, how do you, uh, yeah, but the MODOK and the Target Exclusive Black Series go good together. They do indeed. I gotta calm down. I'm a little heated right now. I got a little emotional there. I know this is just toys, guys, but I feel for you. I, all, I hear from people all the time getting so frustrated that all they want to do is collect these damn things. All they want to do is give Hasbro their money. All they want to do is buy these G.I. Joe classified figures. There's a lot of G.I. Joe fans out there that have been clamoring for six inch shows forever, for years. And now that we have them and you can't get them. What the frick, guys? But anyway, how would you feel about the Joes if you couldn't get any of the Cobra Island stuff? I would still collect them personally. I know, I totally understand. I totally understand if you would not want to collect the line because you couldn't get every figure that you wanted. But me personally, I would still collect them. If I didn't have Beachhead, if I didn't have the Viper, if I didn't have the Firefly, I'd still collect them, but I would feel like the collection was missing a lot. Does that make sense? But again, just make more. Give me a good reason why make more is not a solution to that problem. If you say, well, it's an exclusive with Target. Yeah, but they sold it on Pulse. So obviously, they found some kind of friggin' loophole in whatever contract they have with Target to offer them direct on their site. I'm going to tomorrow evening after work uh, and see if I can't find... Uh, any C-dub figures. Oh, uh, C-dub figures. Oh, Clone Wars. Okay. Jeez Louise. 
Uh, I was thinking the same thing. Farting fire, Sportimus says. Bear Clem is looking forward to the Patton Oswalt show. Oh, he's doing the voice for uh, what's his ass for Modoc. Interesting. So it's definitely a, a comedy show. Grant says cool figure. Ben Jan says haha farting fire. Try and help and can't even get a response. Wizard's chest. Try and help and can't. What are you talking about, Wizard's chest? Craven collects. We really need to be able to do something about scalpers. Wizard's chest. Did you DM me something? I'm wondering what your comment is about. Um, and just in my own defense, I get I get DMs like on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and I miss a lot of stuff. And it's on me. I just can't keep up with it. I just can't keep up with it. Um, the Modoc is all Jack Kirby, Kim Mueller says. Some major diarrhea, Sportiman says. Rob Choi, how's it going? A farting jetpack invented. <laughs> Dante Inferno says, uh, Eric Extreme, I'm trying not to fully give up on G.I. Joe Classified, but not sure. I got Snake Eyes, Storm Shadow, Destro, Baroness, two Cobra Troopers, Zartan, Light Blue Cobra, Commander. Um, Kim says, keep her off of TikTok. Michael Taylor says, didn't know you were live. Are you going to be on with Robo and Dave? I am. So free plug again to tonight's live stream on, I think it's on, again, I think it's on Dave's Twitch channel. We will be live watching AEW opening stuff. I think they're opening Transformers. I'm opening AEW figures. I'm probably going to open MODOK. I might open Major Blood. And I might open the other figure, which you're about to see. But before I get any further in the chat, Kevin Vallejo, how's it going? One half of the infamous Vallejo brothers. LGP Vintage Toys, the 23 is the official release of the Clone Wars figures. I've literally heard like three different answers. I heard the 19th, the 21st, and the 23rd now. I'm still missing Hawk. The 19th was the original go live date. The 21st is what the dude at Target just told me. And the 23rd is what I've heard from you. Um, let's see. Collecting 365, that's hilarious. I can't unsee that. That just ruined Modoc for me. Your friendly neighborhood YouTuber. We can't see you from the waist down, so it's okay to pee in an empty bottle. You will hear it, though. Because I got to pee like a damn racehorse. LGP, what's up, man? Says Narc. The sound of running water. Water. Oh, stop it, Retro. Why are you doing that to me? Can you not see that I'm squirming in my chair right now? CM Brock, go use the bathroom and come back. I don't like dead air. Working in video production, uh, that's like my biggest pet peeve is dead air. So that's why probably another reason why I just talk so much. I literally have like freaking diarrhea of the mouth when I do these lives. I'm nonstop. I can't stand dead air. So that's why I can't just get up and leave. If I had a co-host, maybe I could have them entertain. I would ask Will to do it, but he's just probably going to freaking eat his leg. Uh, but yeah, I am legit, legit doing this right now in my chair. Because i got to go to the, the B room, the baño. Donde esta el baño. Classified is the hardest line to... Alright, I'm just going to go to the bathroom, guys. I'm going to go to the bathroom. And I want you guys... <laughs> I'm sorry. It was damn Retro's fault talking about running water and waterfalls. You ruined it for everyone, Retro. Um, let's see. What's a good question that you guys can answer in the chat? Um, who is your favorite Bad Batch character? Discuss.
boy. And we're back! Holy cow, I feel so much better. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that, but I had to do that. That reminds me, I need to do what freaking Campia does. John Campia, when he has to like refill his drink or go to the bathroom, he has like a be right back little graphic with awesome music playing. I need one of those. I need one of those for this thing. Anyway, thanks for hanging in there, guys. Hopefully I didn't lose too. Now we have 167 viewers. So apparently people that just hopped on here just saw an empty chair. <laughs> but let me scroll back up and find out where the frick I was with this. I want to show you the oddball thing in this hall. So here's a customer service story. As you may or may not know, I have three arcade one-up machines, okay? I neglected, because of pure stupidity on my part, I neglected to register them. Register like the warranties when I picked up the machine. I figured nothing would ever happen to them because I'm an idiot. I'm a dummy. Dummy! Yeah! But anyway, uh, I did not register them. And uh, the other day, I was playing Golden Tee, my favorite game, playing Golden Tee, and there was a vertical blue line from the top of the screen to the bottom of the screen. Hey, sweetie, hey, can you get me a drink? Can you get me uh, vitamin water downstairs? The red vitamin water? Because I'm really thirsty. I thought you had to go take a rest. I actually just went, sweetie. Oh. Can you get me one, though? I can't. Thank you, sweetie pie. I know, I can't. Hey, I got a super chat here. Um, let I me... Capono Bear Who's says, Crosshair's loyal, hold on, it's very small, so let me find where it actually, Crosshair's, loyal even when it's difficult. He is. He follows orders, to a T. Even order 66. I think he's going to redeem himself, though. I think he's going to have a little redemption angle at some point in the clone, in Bad Batch. Which is an amazing show, by the way. I love it so far. But thank you, Capono Bear, for the super chat. I absolutely appreciate that. Uh, good soldiers follow orders, Paul Morella says. All right, let me scroll back up, figure out where I was. Um, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm working on it, guys. Working on it, working on it. Okay, the Clone Wars packaging is awesome. Since you, got to the, since you go to the bath. Okay, there's where I was. Um... Retro made me go to the bathroom. CM Brock says, go use the bathroom, come back. Jedi Howard says, go to the bathroom. We're all adults. We can stand by. Um, Clone Wars packaging is awesome, LGP says. Leon says, what's up? How's it going, Leon? Uh, Grail640, I found three of four. Couldn't find the Obi-Wan. That Echo is next level. The Echo looks amazing. Honestly, the Echo looks like one of the best figures of the four. Mind over matter, Kim Mueller says, not in this case. I had to go. I broke. I broke because of retro. Blame retro. Hashtag blame retro. Um, LGP vintage toys. I had to ask Target employee and some were nice enough to either get the figures or tell me the 23rd is the release. So there's some information, guys. Uh, if you have not gone to Target yet, here's what I'd recommend um, to not waste gas. I would actually call them. Be very, very nice and kind when you call them and ask them if they have any information on those DPCIs. Maybe they'll tell you. Maybe they'll say you have to come in the store. I don't know. I went in the store, used the little scanner thing, and then I talked to the electronics person. Yes, sweetie pie. You can't reach it. Yeah. Can you get me a Diet Pepsi then? No. Thank you, sweetie pie. Oh, yeah. So we have to say live on the TV. Name, so hi, me. <laughs> now go watch yourself on the TV okay. since it's got a delay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. How you doing, uh, Leon? Sportiman says. All Target employees, super nice. Everyone that I've ever talked to at Target has been very, very nice. Um, I've never met a, an inconsiderate Target employee. Finally caught Cincy Live, Sportiman says. Willie Bear dancing here and there and everywhere. Speaking of which, where is he? Dude, where are you? Hey, what are you doing over there? Okay, you're being good. Sometimes this dude, ow, almost tripped and fell. Sometimes this dude, I have like a weight bench right there where I, I do my little weights and uh, he he lays on the other side of it and I can hardly friggin' see him. But I make sure that he heals 
Because this has been like a damn ongoing thing with this dog for like freaking three months now. Um, Jeremy says, if I see them at Walmart, I'll let you know. Thank you, Jeremy. I appreciate that, my friend. Um, Mick says, so who thinks they can walk into Target and grab blood on Sunday? Hopefully everyone that wants one for their collection. Honestly, honest, I'm not just saying this. I literally wish you all the best of luck to find this figure. I want you all to get it. Because I want people to collect this line. I want people to like this line and, and buy Classified. Because I want the line to continue. As, as a... Thank you, sweetie pie. I can't open it for a while, though, because I just heard you running down the hall. And if I open it right now, this thing's going to explode. Because <laughs> it's got carbonation. What? It's okay. Okay. I'll just wait for it to... Th but thank you so much for getting it for me, sweetie pie. Um, let's see. LGP says scalpers equal, and it's a little devil emoji. Jeremy says, are they Target exclusive? If we're talking about the Clone Wars Black Series figures, Jeremy, they're Target exclusives. Murphy Bros. A collectible says, what up, bro? Playoffs, baby. Go abs. Abs look strong. The abs look strong. Um, I'm excited to see what they can do. Nathan McKinnon. Next level, that dude, proving right now, he's one of the best players in the whole league. <clears throat> and how about Landis Cog's fight the other night? He fought um, Braden Shen. Proved that he is a solid, solid captain. Haunter Dreams, hey, since he have you read something is killing the children, just ordered the volume one paperback, heard it's good. I have not read that, actually. I've heard nothing but great things about that. Uh, but I've never, ever read it. Um, I do have a very, very small stack of comic books from last week that I could show you uh, what I got there. But uh, I, I, I have never read that. So if you do read it, Haunter Dreams, let me know if you like it. Chisel Tips says, Modoc. Hell yes. Scalpers are awful, but really, if people would just stop paying scalper prices, then the scalpers will start to disappear. Lord Luigi, I completely agree with you. I completely agree that that is the logical response to scalping not buying from scalpers, but honestly, people just are afraid of not being able to find them. Or people don't, they're not in close proximity to a target. I hear a lot of reasons why people buy from scalpers. And honestly, I can sympathize with them. You know, some people are like two to three hours away from their closest target. So they have no, they have no other option, you know? I would say don't buy from them too, but if I had no other choice and I really, really, really wanted it, I might shell out a few extra bucks for it. I think the real solution is just to make more. The demand is clearly there. The demand for G.I. Joe Classified, the demand for Star Wars, Black Series, Clone Wars, packaged figures is clearly there. Is it not? You have people that have work that they have to do with daytime jobs being at Target at 8 a.m. just for a shot at getting these damn things. I mean, that shows that the demand is there. Now, if, if Hasbro's goal is to create hype through scarcity by intentionally creating demand by lowering the actual number that you have, I mean, then mission accomplished, if that's what they're going for, but I don't know. At some point, it's just gonna frustrate people. Tattoo Toy Hunter, how's it going, my friend? Um, ben Jansen's be careful with the fire fart. Caps, power play. Caps, PP. Are the Caps, oh, they're playing right now. Holy crap, I totally forgot. They're playing the Bruins. Philly, Montreal, what is the score of the Caps game? I've been watching that series, and I totally forgot they were playing, but I'm having a great time here on this live, so I'm not going to watch that game right now. Um, I'm about 10 minutes away from where I said I was going to stop. I'm probably going to stop when uh, the wife gets back because we're going to eat dinner before I hop on the live tonight with Robo and Dave. So, But I'm having a great time right now. So. Let me show you this thing. Anyway, I don't even think I finished my damn story. 
<laughs> I had a blue vertical line on my monitor for golden tea and I'm like, what is going on here? I Googled it and it says, that's a sign that your LCD is failing. So I realized that I never registered the product. I contacted Arcade One Up and I was up front with them. I'm like, hey, I own this machine. Here's my receipt. I did buy it. Here's the date I bought it. I never registered it. I realized this is out of warranty. Is there anything you can do to help me out? And they said, it is out of warranty, but as a, a gesture of goodwill, we will send you, I have to be careful with this thing because it's, we will send you a brand new LCD screen. That's a piece of plastic covering and it's not like broken or anything at no charge. So Arcade One Up on their own dime even though I was out of warranty and I never registered the warranty, sent me a brand new LCD screen for Golden Tea. I have to install it, but I mean, that's just, that just encourages me. I gotta be careful with this thing. <laughs> that just encourages me to buy more of these things. So um, good on Arcade One Up. I appreciate it. I was afraid I was going to have to do something. Um, to fix it or just live with a freaking blue vertical line on my screen when I'm trying to putt. But um, hell yes, thank you Arcade 1UP for that. I appreciate it. If anyone from Arcade 1UP is watching this video, which they're probably not, but that's okay. Sportimus, that Thanos is awesome. Sportimus, since you do have Immortal Hulk. I don't, I definitely want that one. That I usually don't collect the select figures, but that thing looks amazing and I'm not gonna pass up on it. It looks fantastic. Every time I've seen it, though, it's been over retail. So I just want, as soon as I find it at retail, I'm going to buy it. But the cheapest, I've seen it as high as $80, and the cheapest I've seen it is $45. So I just want to find it at retail if possible. I know Big Bad has it for uh, pre-order, but I'd like to find it somewhere for retail, and then I'll buy it. Blaine Sanchez says May 30th. I'm assuming that date revol is referring to the uh, Modoc premiere. Um, let's see. Augustin Roman says, watching the Bruins caps. What's the score? Someone let me know what the score is. Emilio Lopez, no major blood. Thanks to my friend, yes. I, I had no luck in finding this. I'm a big... I'm taking the L on finding this. But uh, thanks to a friend, Rashad... I have it in my possession. I'm really, really happy that I got it. But at the same time, I'm just like, I feel bad that it's been so hard for genuine collectors to get it. So I'm not gonna like rub it in or like gloat or brag that I got one because I, I had no part in that in finding it. I just, I got lucky that a friend found it for me. <clears throat> I hear a lot of white noise cutting through as you're talking. I think my gain is too high, honestly. It's probably this damn fan. Every time I, I'm on Streamlabs, I mean, I'm using 15% of my CPU right now because I'm streaming in, I think this is streaming in 1080. But um, yeah, it's using a lot of my system resources, so that's why yeah, my fan is on. And I think that this gain is too high on this damn mic, even though it's far away from it now. Uh, that's why it's um, picking up that, that shh. Venomized Beard. How's it going, my friend? How was uh, Los Gauchos? I bet it was delicious. Um, says, what's up, Cincy? We'll have to go catch up on the stream after work. Have a good day at work, my friend. Bear Clemens, Santa like my back when I get up in the morning. You're referring to my cracked neck, I'm assuming. I am way far freaking behind in comments. I apologize, guys. Um, what else do I have to show you in this haul? I'm going to go ahead and... First of all, I got this in my P.O. box. I don't know how long it's been there, um, but it was just a, like a little envelope and it said, do not bend. And it was like curved in almost in half. I'm like, well, that's, thanks a lot, USPS. But I opened it up and it says, happy birthday, Cincy. May the force be with you. Uh, and then I opened it up and it's my buddy, Stuart Fulbrook. It says, Cincy, hope you have an awesome birthday and get all the toys you want. Stuart Fulberg. 
This was the freaking nicest thing ever. This really made my day. When I got this and I'm like, oh my God, man, this is so freaking nice. Thank you for sending this. Just a, a very, very nice gesture. Uh, and this is cool because it's like, it's like custom printed Happy Birthday Cincy. Freaking awesome. Absolutely awesome. So Stuart, thank you so much. I just wanted to share that because I was just like, he didn't have to do that. Uh, and I really appreciated it. Um, this one I found on Amazon. I'm trying to uh, get more of the bad guys from O2 Origins. Uh, I ordered Trapjaw and Merman. Trapjaw supposedly is going to get here on Friday. We'll see. With Amazon, sometimes it says it's going to be delivered and then it just doesn't show up and then they cancel your order and you get your, uh, a refund. So with Amazon, I don't believe it until I have it in my hand. This one I found for retail on Amazon. I ordered it and it showed up. Bam! Scare Glow. Freaking awesome. Motu Origin Scare Glow. He looks amazing. He looks absolutely amazing. There's the back art. Very, very, very freaking cool. So I think I'm going to open this one up tonight on the stream. Um, on the stream with Robo and Dave while we're watching AEW opening figures. Being nerdy, being geeky, having fun, uh, interacting with you guys. So check that out. That's my haul. Once again, if you saw the title of this video, yes, I did go to Target trying to get the Star Wars Black Series Clone Wars figures. They did not have them in stock. I did see this one on the shelf, and I picked it up. Once again, one more time, MODOK. It does not have the flappy thing. I would show you what he looks like in the package, but there's no flappy thing. So I will probably open it tonight. I'm very, very excited. He comes with two face portraits. Holy frick, I did not know that. I just noticed that. And multiple hands. So I noticed this face with his beautifully straight teeth. He had braces as a kid. And then I noticed this portrait too. Multiple faces. I had no freaking clue. That's awesome. And now that I got this one... Speaking of Marvel Legends, the villain wave, the bring on the bad guys wave is starting to hit. And originally, I only wanted Lady Deathstrike and Arcade because I like the X-Men villains. Now I really want that uh, AIM, is it AIM Scientist Supreme? Is that his name? I really want that one to go with this guy. And I want like a couple AIM Army Builder soldiers. I kind of want to do a whole AIM thing. Anyway, but uh, thank you to everyone that was here. We hit like 170 people at one time on this thing. Thank you to everyone that uh, decided to join, that had notifications on, that is here right now. Please give a thumbs up if you like this. Um, boost the algo. I appreciate it. But let's, uh, let's talk shop. I'm going to try and get through all these comments before I got to get going. I said I was going to be here for an hour. That's only a minute away. I'm going to stay longer. I want to try and get through a lot of these comments if I can. Because <clears throat> you guys took the time to actually type the comments out, put together a thoughtful, you know, whatever. So I want to read it and acknowledge it, so on and so forth. Uh, let's see. Each Clone Wars fig has hit different targets here in St. Louis. Pass for me, but I picked up Wolf and Gree at GameStop. Yay. Very cool. Philly, Montreal is from Montreal. So are you a Flyers fan or a Canadiens fan? Or both? Larry says Crystal is great for after the club food. It really is. I love Crystal burgers. They're so freaking good. Um, I'm trying to think of restaurants that I miss when I lived in Florida. I lived in Florida from 96 to 2001. And Crystal is the one that always comes to mind. Just because... Uh, even like I would hang out with my buddies, we would go to like the bar and stuff, but I used to play hockey at really, really late times of the night. Uh, when I lived in Florida, I worked at a hockey rink at an ice hockey rink. So I worked there and then I would play hockey from like, geez, it was like 11 PM to two or three in the morning. We would play ice hockey. 
And at like two or three in the morning when I'm hungry, because I just skated for freaking four hours, I wanted food and it was either Taco Bell or Crystal. And I would usually stop at Crystal, scarf down a bunch of those little delicious little burgers, the sliders. And uh, yeah, that was a good time. Uh, just picked up two Hot Wheels Arkham Knight cars. That's very cool, Ionicus. Uh, Jeremy says, I wish I got the TM cartoon TMNT set. Crimson says, "Do you did you pre-order Marvel Legends Surter? I did. Yes. As soon as I saw how large that thing was, um, I was like, that looks amazing. I'm a sucker for translucent plastic. I loved that scene in Ragnarok, the opening scene, because that's one freaking immigrant song, Led Zeppelin. One of the baddest ass uses of mainstream music in an MCU movie. I do like Shoot to Thrill in Iron Man 2 when he jumps from the airplane. And I do love all the songs in freaking Guardians, but especially Cherry Bomb when the Nova Corps and the uh, the Milano when they're attacking what's his ass, uh, his ship. I love the use of mainstream music in Marvel movies and uh, Immigrant Song. They used it in the trailer and I was like, oh man, I hope they use it in the movie. And freaking opening scene. Thor versus Surtur. Led Zeppelin. I was like, does this get any better? Uh, let's see here. Shout out to you, Cincy, for actually trying to read all the comments without requiring a super chat. Yeah, I don't ask anyone a super chat. Um, if you do, I absolutely appreciate it. And I, I, I want to read that. But yeah, I mean, I'm, I do these lives to interact with people. So um, I don't expect anyone to do the super chats. I just do these because I want to talk to people that share the same interests as me that collect the same stuff as me. That was the whole reason that I started YouTube in the first place is I literally had no friends that collected. So it was a very, very lonely hobby. Um, I collected, I collected a lot of stuff before I started YouTube and I had no one to share the passion with other than the people that worked at the store that I bought the stuff from. That was my one time to talk shop with people. So I usually spent a bunch of time at the stores when I bought stuff because they sometimes bought the stuff that they sold. But when I realized that there's a whole community out there across the world, not even across the nation, across the entire world, people in other countries that share the same passion for these same collectibles that I had, I was like, this is freaking great. This is why I do YouTube. For the interaction. Not for views, not for freaking revenue, nothing like that. But for the interaction. For actually having people to talk to about this stuff. So, anyway. Uh, Sportimus, Joe fans will see blood if they can't find... And, and I know that, you know, if, if you're thinking, well, this guy's a hypocrite. He keeps talking about boosting the algo and doing thumbs up. Um, the more people that watch the video, the more people I have to talk to about this stuff. So that's why I, I say, hey, give a thumbs up. Maybe more people will see it. Because more people will talk to me about this stuff. And maybe more people will have similar interests. And maybe there will be more people in my local area that I can hunt with that have the same interest because they see a video of mine on YouTube. Anyway, uh, let's see here. Where, wa where was I? I half read a comment. Uh, Joe fans will see blood if they can't find him. Agree. I think Joe fans might jump ship if they can't find blood. I think, I think blood, major blood might be the straw that breaks the camel's back for a lot of Joe fans. That's why I want you guys to find him. I want this line to continue. I don't want people to jump ship. Alistair McCray, it sucks even more. I don't live near a target and I haven't been lucky online. Even with Hasbro Pulse, I'm just going to do away with that line. And see, that's exactly what's going to happen. Is If this is... Oh God, I hope it's not being done intentionally to build hype. I really, really hope that a company would not do this intentionally to build hype because you're just going to have people like Alistair and so many other collectors jump frickin' ship because they're tired of it. It's not worth the stress. This should be fun. I should not be ranting live on YouTube about this. This whole hobby should be fun. We should be having fun. Not getting pissed off. Uh, friendly Neighborhood says, I have not seen a Joe, G.I. Joe figure in my stores for at least three months now. I actually just saw in the Target that I went to, I guess just keep checking Targets, guys, because while I didn't see Major Blood, I saw two Zartans, a Roadblock, 
and a Scarlet in my target. So if you're looking, at least for any of those, I guess keep trying. Uh, Venomized Beard said this is 100% on Hasbro. I don't see it any other way, guys. Again, I, I posted something on Facebook and someone said, well, it's on the store. Everyone's blaming each other. The guy with the loud ass muffler is driving by right now. Everyone's blaming each other. No one wants to assume, no one wants to take accountability. That's just kind of how the world is nowadays. No one wants to take accountability for, for their actions. No one says, my bad anymore. No one says, I'm sorry. No one says, I was wrong. It's the store's fault. It's Hasbro's fault. It's someone else's fault. Frickin' take accountability. It's our fault. We effed up. We didn't make enough. We're going to make more. Problem solved. You didn't find it in Target? That's okay. Don't stress out. Don't stress out. We're going to put it on Pulse. We're going to leave the damn pre-order up for a month. If you don't order, it's on you. But the pre-order is going to be for a month. And we're going to make as many as you guys order. If 50,000 people order this figure, we're going to make 50,000. Right? Seems like a good solution. Casey Backlash, in the hype of the new Snake Eyes movie, I got Hot Toy Storm Shadow, and he is awesome. That is an awesome figure. I gotta say, I mean, the movies, a lot of people didn't like the movies. Didn't like Retaliation, didn't like Rise of Cobra, but those Hot Toys figures are really well done. That uh, Rock the Dwayne Johnson roadblock from Retaliation. Sorry, I just burped, and I almost barfed a little bit. <laughs> that Rock the Dwayne Johnson Retaliation figure is an awesome figure. The Snake... I think they did Snake Eyes, right? They did Snake Eyes on a Storm Shadow. Awesome figures. Kudos to Hot Toys on those. Tropic Thunder, I still need a beachhead. Ionic Blood 666. Make more, Hasbro. Let's start that hashtag, guys. Make more. Hashtag make more, Hasbro. Uh, Brian Aguilera. Low runs create buzz. But... I understand that. I work in marketing. I understand intentionally shorting supply to create demand. But at some point, you're going to piss people the frick off. And honestly, we're past that point. We are past that point. You are losing collectors. And there are going to be collectors that get so frustrated and so fed up with the G.I. Joe line they're going to jump ship on Hasbro entirely. They're going to they're going to stop collecting everything Hasbro. I'm telling you guys. I don't think that's what they're doing. I hope that's not what they're doing, but if they are, it will bite you in the ass, guys. Make more. Uh Room V says people are out for blood, Hasbro's blood. Uh Stanley's Toy Channel, I'll agree with you 100%. Nico214, how's it going, my friend? Mason Hunley, hey, since today I got Modoc. Mason Hunley, me too, my friend. We're, Mod we're Modoc bros. Bam. Hell yes. Uh, let's see here. Um, see, I'm Brock. I never understand a company that makes toys can't make more toys. It's almost like it's a game they're playing. It's like. I just don't understand it because you are literally holding the key to a money printing machine. If I owned a company and I knew there was thousands and thousands of people that wanted my product and all I had to do was turn the key and make more and I'm literally printing revenue, I will turn the key and make more. It makes sense unless I'm just an idiot business-wise make more this uh live stream has turned into something entirely different than what it was <laughs> intended to be this was intended to be a ver very very short haul showing off modok but it has turned into something entirely different share this guys if you want this to get out there if you want hasbro to get eyes on this and see the frustrations that a lot of collectors have go ahead and share this video 
Share it on Twitter. Share it on social media. Get eyes on it. I love the product that they make, but you, you have to satisfy the needs and wants of your consumers. Again, maybe I'm just a terrible businessman, but it just makes sense to me. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> Since he sounds like our local priest in our church, <laughs> I didn't. Holy frick, Capona Bear, I'm hoping Valiverse scratches my G.I. Joe itch. Capona Bear, once again, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to uh, what Valiverse brings to the game. I'm really looking forward to the Sergeant Slaughter I pre-ordered. Uh, I'm looking forward to the accessory packs that Bobby Val is doing. Shout out to Bobby Val for taking a big, big friggin' chance. And his product looks friggin' amazing. And I can't wait for it. Can't wait for it. About figs, I just don't understand how they can get boatloads of other lines, but not G.I. Joe. I don't either. I don't really get it either. Wow had no idea they had them available on Pulse. Emilio Lopez. A lot of people didn't know they were available on Pulse. They were only available for a couple minutes. And again, they made them available to uh, Hasbro Pulse Premium members first. And they sold out. And uh, I would, I for one... Would be a little upset if I paid 50 bucks for a Pulse membership and I tried to get one of those figures and I didn't get one. Because isn't that one of the reasons that you pay for the membership? To get exclusives early or get first shot at these things? I mean, were these really just leftovers that Target didn't have? Is that why they had them? I don't know. It hasn't been explained. I will say that the comments jumped though, so let me find out where the frick I was. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, I have to agree with you since I'm missing. I lost where I was, guys. I apologize. I think the scalpers make more. Uh, classifier is the hardest line too. I'm just going to have to start somewhere. Shout out to Dean Alexander. <laughs> and Sammy Guevara. Oh, and is it being the elite that he's on? Or is it Sammy's vlog? Dean Alexander. The river splits Kansas City, Kansas, and Missouri. <laughs> He's hilarious. He's hilarious on that vlog. 99% of you don't know what the frick I'm talking about right now. But anyway, I guess it's an inside joke. <laughs> about fixes, I just don't understand how they can get... Oh, I just read that. Okay, I, I am caught up. Uh, classified is the hardest line to uh, LGP Vintage Toys. Bobby McCops, he's here. How's it going, my friend? Target exclusive Joe line makes me want to sell the Joe I have. Um... And that was Jeremy. About Figs 155, all from... He well, don't lick that leg, dude. You've done so well today. Don't go for it. I think the scalpers make more money off the figures than the actual companies do. Uh, your friendly neighborhood YouTuber said that. H. Green, how's it going? Yeah, I have to agree with you, Cincy. I'm missing Beachhead, Cobra, Viper, Infantry, Firefly, and Baroness. And that was WTFS1. Jedi Howard 22. Yeah, people that say Hasbro listens to fans are fooling themselves. Hasbro never listens to fans. I think in some ways they do, but in a lot of ways they just don't. LGP Vintage Toys. 155 watching, only 46 likes. Uh, boost that algo. Thumbs up if you like the video. Brian Aguilera. Factories might also be backlogged. Hasbro probably favors Marvel Legends. Very, very, very valid points. Those could be extremely true. They could be very valid. And uh, that's something to think about as well. We are going, we are coming out of a global pandemic. And there were a lot of people not going to work. And there were a lot of factories shut down to try and minimize the spread. Um, so that is a very valid point that just factories can't make more. Maybe Hasbro wants to make more. And they just can't because everything's backed up. Valid point. I'm not denying that. M. Castaneda, the hunt for store exclusives is a pain in the butt. Network with trusted collectors to find what you need if you can. That's just what I've tried to do. Is I've tried to find local collectors. Um, and I, tell, I ask them what they're looking for. I tell them what I'm looking for. I tell them if I find what they're looking for, I'll pick them up for them. Have them on, you know, uh, Facebook Messenger. Have them in your text messages. Hey, dude, I found this. Are you still looking for this? Yes. All right, I'll pick it up. You got to 
network. I mean, it's like a, that's a thing that we try and do in the business world is try and network with uh, people, make friends, make friends in the hobby. Um, and that's just, it's almost essential nowadays, guys, to try and make those friends, make those connections so that you can, because you can't be everywhere at once. You can't go to every target. You can't go to every Walmart because we got to work. We got to do our jobs. But if you make friends with someone that's at a different location than you in a different part of the town than you, or even a freaking different state, make friends, make those connections if you can. It really, really helps. Same with the new waves of vintage collection can only get them in Walmart. So for the rest of the world doesn't exist to Hasbro. And that was what's up chief. Jason Cook, my opinion after a certain amount of time, exclusive should be offered on Big Bad Toy, Entertainment Earth. We have seen that recently, like Commander Wolf, Jabba's Guard, they should do them all. Totally agree. A lot of those exclusives have been redone. Grievous, uh, Gamorrean Guard, Wolf, they've all been re-offered, re-issued. And they're easy to obtain. Very nice pre-order process. Make the frickin' Viper available for... How much did they charge for the Cobra Infantry? 20 bucks. Make it available. Take a gun away. Take a damn gun away and offer it up. People will go nuts. Goji King, I just got out of work. What did I miss? Um, just my small haul and a uh, an ass load of me ranting <laughs> about exclusives from Target and uh, and such. Andrew, my, one of my favorite handles on YouTube and a panda man. Andrew Gerhart, what's up? How's it going, Andrew? Uh, Omega Weapon, did you get the Throne Breaker Cody? Is that the one in... Which wave is that? Is that wave one or wave four? I have both. Or are you talking about the TNT Champion one? I didn't get that one. I didn't get the TNT Champion one, and I also didn't get the Blood Brothers one. Jeremy says Target employees may uh, be selling them on secondary market. I guess in some cases they are. I think in a lot of cases, I don't know. Maybe they aren't. Maybe they are. I mean, they obviously see that there's a demand for them. They see that there's profit to be made. But I don't know. Uh, they said the 23rd is the set date. Okay. So hopefully we see a lot of these things in like the resets in stores. The 23rd. So in just a few days, what is that? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Is that a Sunday, the 23rd? Uh, let's see here. Calvin Vallejo. So we have both Vallejo brothers. 100% of the infamous Vallejo brothers in the house. Tropic Thunder. I only own one Cobra Island figure and it's Roadblock. I have all the other Joes that are not Cobra Island, including all Pulse exclusives. Tropic Thunder said that. Since you, who's your favorite Joe? Dante Inferno. My favorite Joe. I mean, it's hard to narrow it down to just one. If we're talking about like historically, uh, the ones that I've just liked the most, I really, really like Shipwreck. I really like Duke. And I really like Flint. And a lot of people are probably saying right now, what about Snake Eyes? Yes, I liked Snake Eyes. But I just really liked Shipwreck, Duke, and Flint the most, I think. Uh, I also really like Spirit. Um, because in the cartoon, it wasn't really Storm Shadow versus Snake Eyes. It was Spirit versus Storm Shadow. They had some, uh, some fights, some fight skis in the cartoons. And I really like those. So huge Spirit fan. I hope we get the figure. Um, there's so many different awesome characters they can do in the classified. That's what makes me excited. I'm also really excited for the Mezco figures. We've only seen Destro. I pre-ordered Destro. I want to see who they're going to bring to the damn table with soft goods. The whole works. Which ones are you guys going to do, Mezco? Richard, regarding Star Wars, the Black Series, how about in the future Hasbro doesn't do mo any more store exclusive figures? Don't like how figures just come out and people listed them up on selling sites for crazy amounts of money. Yes, yeah, Sweetie Pie. What are we having for dinner? Hey, don't let him out, Sweetie Pie. Come in if you want to. Come on in. Uh, mommy and I are having hamburgers and I think salad. Uh, I will make whatever you want. Okay. You can have a toaster strudel or something or 
yogurt. I don't completely hamburger. We can definitely do that for you. I think mommy made some for you. Oh. Yay! When is he coming home? Very, very soon. I think that they should be home soon. All right. Uh, let's see here. Ionic, Ionic Blood says, we'll be right back sign. Make a will be right back. Yes, I definitely need one of those graphics. Um, all right. So we're at the bathroom part. I am so far behind. All right. Let's see. Let's see. I'll wait for you. I'm skipping all the bathroom comments. <laughs> it's shipping from Cincy from China. It's the shipping Cincy from China. Echo, easy crosshair. I don't have one. I'm not watching. Rambo, please stand by. Oh, you guys are you guys are naming your favorite Bad Batch characters. Echo, crosshair. Omega Weapon said crosshair. About figs uh, says Hunter, Rambo. Um, Juan says... Either Hunter or Crosshair. I like Wrecker. Okay, so Leon and I have the same favorite, Wrecker. I'm a big Wrecker fan. Uh, Stanley says Echo. Richard says Hunter. And a Panda Man says Wrecker. It's three for Wrecker. Dank Chess says Omega. Uh, Money Mouse says Hunter. He's going to the most character. He's going to the most character development. He's got the most character development. Ionic Blood says Wrecker. Likes to blow things up. Ionic is toy review, says Wrecker. We got five for Wrecker. Hi. Lord Luigi says Hunter. This is a personal new low for me. <laughs> Brian, probably waiting for me to get back from the bathroom <laughs> is what he's talking about. Dead air right now. Um, <laughs> but you guys stuck around. You stuck around. You're still here. She's doing some kind of TikTok dance in the background. <laughs> I'm up to five for Wrecker. Let's see if we can hit ten for Wrecker. What? Some nice silence right there, man, from Room V. Is everyone <laughs> caught up on Bad Batch? You are getting over your cold, so that's good. Uh, chair stream, Governor Tarkin, Grail640 says, Crosshair when he is a Bad Batch member, otherwise Tech. That, is that the first vote for Tech? Ow! Uh, I could get used to that silence, <laughs> Room V says. Where's Tay Tay when we need her? He's back. Okay, Crosshair, good soldiers follow orders. We only got five for for Wrecker. You need an assistant like Wade. Uh, Chisel tip. Could we? Could the be right back? Music be tequila. <laughs> oh man. Uh, the only Cobra Island I have is the Baroness. Jeremy says. Uh, favorite Bad Batch member is Raging Waters. Followed closely by Leaking. <laughs> You guys are coming in with all the pee jokes. Koji King. Uh, Mike. Oh, comments jumped. I was on a roll there reading all those funny comments. Nark says, uh, what up, man? I've been here but cooking dinner. Nark, what are you making for dinner, dude? Networking is key, Nark says. Um... <laughs> the Recon says the two dislikes are from Hasbro and Mattel. They're salty. <laughs> <laughs> let's see here i gotta find where i was though i think we're i think five for wrecker so the five that voted for wrecker you guys are with me hello hello oh don't don't talk right into that it's really loud <coughs> oh my lord girlfriend Oops. you knocked over a mafex figure uh-oh he lost his thing oh geez oh geez be careful if you find it because it's made of metal she knocked over Mafex, Batman, and his his grapple hook is missing now. Mm. I don't know where it is. It's okay, sweetie pie. We'll find it. Okay. <coughs> All right. Where was I? Don't go back there, though, because you're going to knock something else over. Oh, I, know I don't know where the grapple thing is. Did anyone see where that went when she knocked it over? Oh, I think I see it. Oh, you do? No. That, that is not it. Fuzz. That's a piece of fuzz. fuzz. All right, let's see here. Um, while that happened, the comments seemed to, to jump again. And Hasbro aside, I'm, Tom Bowling, how's it going, my friend? Hasbro aside, I'm glad that you're here, Tom. 
Uh, Hasbro said, I'm really looking forward to the McFarlane Doctor Fate. Anyone else looking forward to the Doctor Fate? It looks pretty good, I gotta say. I finally saw a picture of it. I'm really wondering where that grappling hook went. Uh, the community has a serious bloodlust right now. Man from Room V with blood puns. Uh, gotta go, Cincy. Have a good night. Every Ionicus, thanks for being here, my friend. I've seen more G.I. Joes at H-E-B grocery stores than Target. Really? H-E-B carries <laughs> Joes? Keep your COVID away from me, girlfriend. Uh, let's see. Hasbro. Oh, I read that from Tom. Money printing machine, especially with army builders. Couldn't even get just one Viper, Pain App says. A psychological game, Room V says. After I get the upcoming NECA 2015 Doc Brown, I'm seriously thinking that is going to be it for me. No more collecting. Really? Really? Crazy 8. Done collecting. I have taken breaks from collecting. I have done so myself. I have taken breaks because I just wasn't having fun with it. When? Sometimes. I don't, I don't remember. Oh. Uh, it's, it's happened a few times, though. There's no reason to do something if you're not having fun with it. So wait until that spark gets reignited, <laughs> so that passion comes back, and then get back into it. The good thing about collecting is it's always going to be here. These things are always going to be done. There's always going to be cool stuff to buy. So, you know, take a break and then come back. Ryan says, I have only seen three G.I. Joe ever since they started, and that's why I won't collect them now. <clears throat> Capono Bear says, hashtag Hasbro make more. Make them all pre-order. Alf Jam says, The Weeknd, Retro Blasting made a good video about how Target and Mattel messed up with the release of Motu Origins. Man from Room V, the live stream has become a militia training course. That's a little extreme. <laughs> it has been a few rants, though, that I was not anticipating. Hasbro needs to make more and Target needs to order more. The Modoc is awesome. Got it last week, Jesus says. I'll let Bobby Vala know you shouted him out, Laser Pants says. <coughs> Bobby Vala, I mean, again, go go check out the Valaverse stuff. The Sergeant Slaughter, cannot wait for it. Uh, all the rest of the figures look amazing. They look like they scale perfectly. If you have a Joe display, they look like they're going to scale perfectly with those. So show that man um, uh, some, uh, I was going to say respect, that it's, but it's not really respect, just... Uh, support. Support is the word I was looking for. What are you doing, girlfriend? Yeah. Show that man some support and uh, pre-order some of those Valiverse figures. They look awesome. Wolf Bane. Solution to G.I. Joe problem. Bring back Toys R Us. Pain apps. Pulse membership was not worth it. Always ended up finding things sooner elsewhere. Ah. Thoughts on G.I. Joe. Uh, 112 Collective Destro. 3-0 Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow. Uh, the Destro looks amazing. I cannot wait to see what else. Has Ouch! I cannot I'll wait to see what else uh, Mezco makes for G.I. Joe. The three zero Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow look amazing, and the price points are very, very attractive. I think they're only $155, if I'm correct, which is uh, much, much cheaper than, like, Sideshows and Hot Toys. They are the same scale as those, and they look amazing, so I can't wait to see the finished product. Girlfriend, I don't want you to fall. Well, I'm not going to fall. I mean that. One Man Toy Show, Wolf Babe is correct. What did Wolf Babe say? Wolf Bane. <coughs> Toys R Us is what uh, Wolf Bane said. Leon said, hopefully this will all be finally addressed at the June Joe event coming up as they've had long enough to rectify the situation by now, in my opinion. Mark 45 Prime said, Michael Petrino, how's it going? Man from Daddy? Ruby. Wolf, ba Wolf Babe sounds better. Yeah, that's like a little bug. I need to pick that up and throw it in the trash. Uh, I'm still wondering where the heck that went. Did it eat across the floor? Do you see it down there? No. We'll look for it later. I just don't want to roll over it with my chair. I do have to wrap this up here soon. I think Mrs. Cincy might be back because Willie is starting to get a little excited. We're gonna. I think we're going to wrap it up here in about 40 seconds at 1... An hour and 30 minutes and I hate to do that because we have 168 people watching but I do want to give one more shout out to tonight's live stream I will be part of a live stream tonight on Dave Wheeler's twitch uh, Foosh. What? not Foosh from the Robo <laughs> Robo from the Foosh is gonna be there myself and then Dave we're opening stuff we're watching AEW we're talking shop we're talking nerdy geeky collecting stuff we'll probably get into the target stuff again you never know oh, 
Yes, I am going to open that. Uh, but uh, I probably Spoiler. have to... Spoil! Well, actually, they already know that if they've watched thus far. Uh, but networking is key, says Narc. I'm just scrolling down. I want to make sure uh, the Rican, uh Let's see here. I'm still I'm scrolling. Hey, guys, if I missed anyone's comment and or question, please, I'm going to publish this. Please post it in the comments. If there are eyes that get on this from Hasbro and they see the frustrations that us collectors are having, you know, say something in the comments. It'll just help to spread that message. But uh, I just want to thank you guys for being here. Thank you for being part of this. Um, Check out the the live tonight again on Dave's uh, Twitch. It but says, "Hi, look behind his hair." On, on the, the floor, floor, it was caught in her hair when she turned. Oh my gosh, it is in her hair. Oh, okay. Dude, Sandy or uh, Sandy, uh, you are awesome. It is literally in her. No, you don't push up. Look at that. <laughs> That's crazy. Sandy McNair, you get <laughs> bonus points tonight for seeing that and for noticing that. You are awesome. You guys are awesome. Oscar Reynosa, since you the hook is in her hair, you guys are seeing this now. Hey, you guys are awesome. Once again, thanks. Thumbs up, boost that algo. I'll see you guys.